Hi everybody, boy do I miss you guys. But it's time to start, so. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed. Let's make music, yes indeed, yes indeed my darling. Hello, hello, and how are you today? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope you feel that way. Hello, hello, and how are you today? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope you feel that way. All right, so it is Earth Day this week. Earth Day is April the 22nd, and if you're watching this, it should be up by April 22nd. That is Earth Day. So, we're going to sing The Green Grass Grows All Around, because that's what we've been singing for Earth Day. And the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. did see the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around now in that hole there was a tree the prettiest tree that you ever did see the tree in the hole in the hole did see the trunk on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around now on that trunk there was a limb the prettiest limb that you ever did see you ever 
Everybody, maybe you can plant a seed or just go look at a tree and see how the tree grows from the hole in the ground all the way up to the twigs. Maybe there's a nest in your tree, I don't know. But go out and look at nature because that's what Earth Day is about. We have to take care of our Earth because if we don't take care of it, we will have a very hard time living on it because it'll be too dirty and disgusting. And we don't want that to happen. So, happy Earth Day. Now, Last week we sang a song, The Noble Duke of York. So let's review that one. The Noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Because when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So shake it to your left and shake it to your right. And shake it all around the place. No a silly sight. All right, whoops, don't want to bang my guitar. <laughs> All right, so, April, which I haven't had a chance to tell you I would have if we had been together, but April was, called, was declared by music educators to be jazz in our school month, in our school's month. Jazz, J-A-Z-Z, is a style of music that is particular to the United States. It kind of started in the South around New Orleans, and the spirituals and all that stuff and it kind of led up and sort of led into rock and roll a little bit so jazz is the main component of the music style of jazz is improvisation where you have the song and then you kind of make up patterns and stuff around within the song that you're singing so i'm going to try to include some examples of jazz one is going to be put down the ducky i'm very bias towards Sesame Street because a lot of good things were shown on Sesame Street. So there's Put Down the Ducky, which explains why Ernie is having trouble playing his saxophone. So he's asking Hoots, who's the resident musician owl and specialist in jazz on Sesame Street, why he's having trouble playing his saxophone. And Hoots tells him, Ernie, you gotta put down the ducky. I also would like to include a clip of the cellist Yo-Yo Ma. He's having a discussion with Hoots about jazz. And one with a younger Wynton Marsalis who plays the trumpet. And he's having a discussion about jazz with um, Hoots the Owl. So all of those will hopefully um, give you an inkling as to um, a little bit about jazz. And I did want to start this. I'm going to sing it now. Um, I wanted to start, I always start at this time of year when we do Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I always start the Star Spangled Banner because no matter where you go to any professional sports game, um, they always sing the Star Spangled Banner. One time when I was going to a Pascack Valley football game, it was an away game, I think it was at Old Japan, um, 
I was waiting to get in to the stadium and waiting to pay my money and all of a sudden everything stopped and I was thinking, wait, what's going on? Why is it? And then I realized I could hear the band in the background playing the Star Spangled Banner and everything stopped because the Star Spangled Banner is our national anthem. And it is the most important song we have in our country. It represents the United States all over the world. And whenever they have the Olympics, which will now be in 2021, the Star Spangled Banner is played anytime um, a United States athlete wins the gold medal. And our flag is the highest one on the, the podium to be raised up and float when we win. So the Star Spangled go Banner goes like this, and since I'm singing it, I'm going to stand up. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Banner is over 200 years old. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's 206 years old. And it was written at the time of the Battle of Baltimore. And it describes the events that were happening during the Battle of Baltimore. Francis Scott Key took an existing melody of the time and wrote the words to the song. He and another guy were on a boat in Baltimore's harbor, the Chesapeake, while the fort was being attacked. And the rockets, red glare, were the, the rockets hitting the fort and lighting up the sky. The bombs bursting in air showed that the flag was flying above the fort through the whole battle all night long to the sunrise. So it asks you, oh say can you see by the sun up, by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed, we saluted at the twilight that sunsets last gleaming. And then it tells you what you're looking at, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. When a flag waves, that's called streaming. When it waves in the wind and it was on a pole above the, the ramparts, above the walls of the fort, waving. The rockets red glare, the bombs burst in the air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still flying all night long, all night long, that our flag was still there. And then it asks you, oh say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Does the flag still fly? Or the land of the free and the home of the brave? Well, we are the land of the free and the home of the brave, and the flag flies everywhere you look. If you notice in your school classrooms, there's a flag in every classroom. There's flags in front of the store, in front of the school. There's a flag in front of the post office and all municipal buildings. There's flags at all the stadiums. So yes, our flag still flies all over the place, across our land and representing us in other lands when we're there. So that's how you know that. Okay, um, I guess that's kind of enough information for right now. Um, and I'll leave it at that, so I'll say Goodbye everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed See you next time, yes indeed, yes indeed, my darlings Okay everybody, I will see you next time, bye!